Good morning, oil traders. It is Tuesday, August 22nd, 8.52 a.m. here on the East Coast in North America. Um, we're just over half an hour away from the market open, and we're just at about exactly where I sold my uh, short yesterday. Um, yeah, it, I mean, what's interesting is that uh, it really surprised me that Europe managed to take us back up all the way above 48. Um, that really did surprise me, but as you can see, we've pulled back from there quite significantly, um, dropping back down to the mid 47s. Um, that being said, uh, we haven't dropped down yet uh, to the lows from yesterday, so I'm getting a sense of deja vu to be honest. Um, it could be uh, another repeat of what we saw yesterday uh, following Friday's session where we bounced up, we bounced down, um, and either way is really in the cards today. We could be heading back up above 48 or we could drop hard below 47. Um, it's really kind of a wait and see as far as I'm concerned right now. Um, there's no play in the mid 47s yet. Um, so my targets remain unchanged as per usual. I'll be repurchasing my short if we do head up back over 48. Um, and if we do drop, um, as at least it appears to be the case thus far this morning, um, I'll be repurchasing my long from last week um, at or below 47. Um, I'll also have the opportunity to sell one or more shorts if we do drop. Uh, my closest short right now is at about 47.15, um, adjusted for the futures contract rollover this past weekend. So um, right now it's not in the money yet. Um, you, of course, you can always check that out on my portfolio page on uh, my tradingjournal.ca account. Uh, there you will see my one remaining long position. That's a 52 um, long and my four shorts. So I'm definitely biased towards the downside. And uh, as we continue to drop right now, um, that seems to be a good thing, <laughs> but we shall see. Um, I will be waiting for Europe to close again, as per typical uh, for me, uh, before deciding on uh, what to do. And if we do move enough for me to uh, basically justify a purchase or a sell, um, and last but not least, don't forget that today is Tuesday, and that means at 4.30, 30 minutes after the markets close here on the East Coast, we're going to get API news. Um, that in itself doesn't necessarily mean much. Usually, um, it, moves, it moves the price of crude, but uh, by the time we open the following day on Wednesday, usually we're back to where we started pre-news. Um, so ultimately, we're going to be waiting on EIA news on Wednesday, but nonetheless, we do have API news coming today, and that may have some impact on, on uh, the volatility as well as the magnitude of the move, whatever that might be. In any case, uh, that's, that's my thoughts on today's session. Um, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades and charts and results. Um, you can always uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading, near or at, or I guess later than 4 p.m. Eastern today. Until then, good luck. Cheers.